New here at three, there are going to be plenty of people wearing jerseys and flying bolts flags today. And so many people show their love to support the lightning. But ABC Action News reporter Robert Boyd shows us there's one super fan in Spring Hill who has made it his goal to connect the team with the community. What's going on, fans, lightning fans? Every week throughout the season, Joe D'Angelo talks everything lightning which is actually the name of his podcast. The referees just conveniently just turned their back, didn't see that Colorado had an extra man on the ice. When Lightning Joe isn't broadcasting about the team, he's writing about them on his Bolts fan page, Tampa Bay Thunder Strikers. I have a lot of people that say to me, you know, we read what you write all the time. We read your injury report, transactions, who's traded, who's not. Over the years, Joe has used his super fandom to give back to the community collecting memorabilia from the players for the Thunder Strikers annual Christmas toy drive. They will donate hockey sticks signed, pucks signed and everything. As soon as I get them, they go out the door and they go right to where they need to go. The kids. The kids. Joe also makes wishes come true, like when he organized a Zamboni ride during a game for a young fan dying of cancer. There's Dustin Snyder's name on the Zamboni, on the, on the big screen, knowing that he was gonna die, uh, side by side with his mom and him, he, he smiled. Joe even drives a lightning blue car. He says the team's dedication makes him want to work just as hard when it comes to being the best fan he can be. Let's go Bolts. Dive and take that puck at 90 miles an hour, 100 miles an hour. Our guys are getting hurt left and right. They're sacrificing their bodies for this cup. And whether the lightning bring home another cup or fall short, Joe says he couldn't be more proud. They'll always be champions to him. They feel the pressure. They know the fans want to get that Stanley back for the third time, but it's not going to be easy, and we knew it. So if this goes seven, hopefully the ticker can absorb. Incredible play by Andre Vasilevsky. In Spring Hill, Robert Boyd, ABC Action News.